Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Growth Project Podcast, a podcast for you if you're ready to make a real impact in this lifetime. Whether you're looking to start your own business, travel the world, or simply live life with more purpose, the Growth Project Podcast will guide you every step of the way. Hosted by motivational speaker, life coach, and self-proclaimed truth dealer, Sharice Spear, you can be sure that the Growth Project Podcast will guide you in a progressive and authentic way towards your highest, most badass, unapologetic self. So sit back, buckle up, and get ready for the ride. Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on The Growth Project. My name is Sharice and I will be your host. So before we start today, I just want to say I've been getting a lot of nice um, recommendations for podcast uh, topics and just a lot of you guys have been talking to me in my DMs lately and I love it and um, we've been talking a lot about manifestation, relationships, and basically like evolving and aligning with the things that we we truly want in this life so i have been loving 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 all of these conversations and it really really makes me like it really lights me up that i'm in a point right now where i get to have these conversations with you guys because this is like the the thing that i've been wanting for the longest and wanting to attract people around me who um who think in a similar way or who you know have these burning questions and that are curious as well and want to talk about these things and don't feel like we're talking about those things so i have been wanting all of that so i'm just so so grateful that i have been able to attract that and attract so many of you um in my life so if you're a recurring listener lots of love goes out to you you know my heart goes out to you because you know you guys motivate me every single day every time i see another um listen another download to just make more of these and to continue talking about these subjects and like just to me like i said i really want this podcast to be like if younger me was listening to it and needed like all of these things all of these advice i am i basically want to talk about everything that the things that no one has ever taken the time to talk to me about and i know that it'll probably resonate with you guys because uh depending on your culture depending on certain things you'll notice that a lot of these things weren't discussed with you as well so today is going to be a topic on relationships love being yourself in a relationship um and this is just going to be the first of many episodes like on that theme of like being yourself in a relationship um being authentic in a relationship being vulnerable in a relationship so this is um going to be a very ongoing theme um in my podcast in the upcoming months because i'm feeling a pull towards this i'm feeling um yeah i'm I'm feeling i'm getting the little signs i'm getting little nudges and i'm feeling the pulls towards this these subjects so this is going to be um i i feel like a recurring theme that you guys are going to hear me talking about on the podcast so today i wanted to talk a little bit about the idea of conscious relationships so with everybody um with everybody up leveling and everybody um growing in consciousness and expanding and becoming more aware because this is something that's having happening on a collective level some people are more aware of it than others some people are actually um using that energy as a boost and just going way forward with it and then there's other people that um are a little bit like not aware so they're not aware of it right now and um basically like the universe is still expanding and it's still doing its thing so even if you are not aware or you're not doing anything with it you are naturally um still kind of attuning to uh certain vibrations it's just that it won't be as let's say it won't be as um potent in your life it won't be as impactful in your life um as those who are really using that energy and using this um let's say this 
this time of expansion really to their best um, capabilities because this is what I, I'm seeing right now this is what I'm noticing it's like it's really a time of expansion and um, the, the seeds that you're gonna plant during this time is gonna be extremely extremely important so um, yes I want to I, I want to encourage people to you know go on their own path and whatnot but just the seeds that you're planting in this moment or it's just so so important like all of the little decisions all of the little things that you're saying this is important to me this is no longer important to me i want something a little bit more like this i want to get away from that i want to break this habit i want to become better in this area all of those little things really pay attention to that because that's really setting up your future for what it is going to be so yeah even if you don't do any big ass thing or if you haven't made any big ass decisions lately but you know they're coming like work on that mindset get yourself in a in a spot where you feel comfortable where you feel confident to make um certain decisions and then and then go from there but as long as you guys are are aware that you're more aware <laughs> um that's already a very very good start so being in conscious relationships, like I said, because more of us are becoming aware and because we are healing our past traumas and our past um, attachment um, patterns and, and like attachment issues, we are entering into more conscious relationships. So these are relationships in which well ideally both partners are still working on themselves but have worked on themselves a lot or um, the work that they're doing together is just so powerful that they are evolving and growing in consciousness together and really understanding what is um what like real love and support and partnership and all of that really really looks like um in these relationships a lot of times the relationships we had prior a lot of the times we were reacting out of some sort of instinct some sort of trauma um bond some sort of um belief system about um the person about the relationship some sort of attached we had like attachment issues we had um different ways of reacting different ways of being triggered different ways of all that thing right and the more that we if you're someone that has that has worked to really clear that up even if you're just someone that you've come to a point where you've just re you're looking back at your past relationships and you're just realizing so much and you're just gathering so much information and seeing the 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 common themes and seeing the 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 lessons and asking yourself like what are the things that I learned in that relationship you know what did this relationship permit me, permit me to learn permit me to do permit me to know now that I can now use and integrate into my life so if you have been in that kind of period and you're 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 in this period right now too when you if you're not already but if you enter into a conscious relationship you're going to notice that if you're actually um, embodying the lessons that you learned from your past relationship this conscious relationship or this yeah this relationship where both of you are more conscious and really working um towards your best self is going to feel a lot more aligned and a lot more um yeah a lot more aligned and just like the overall vibration i would say of the relationship will be higher this is a time this is a really really weird time so i love to talk about energy and you guys know that but this is a it's not a weird time but it's a it's a it's a crazy time in history and right now there are so many people that are i'm sure you guys have seen it like on on social media and stuff like that a lot of people talk about twin flames soulmates and whatever and the reason why a lot of people are starting to talk about this right now is because we have evolved from a basic low level desire type of relationship to um, evolving into a more like soul heart based relationship and because of that 
a lot of people um, in this lifetime will get the chance I, I personally believe um, will get the chance to meet um, either a soulmate or just someone that they have made a soul contract with in this lifetime just because the more we are ourselves and the more that we um, attract like-minded people and like people to us we may attract you know that person in this lifetime and i know i i have spoken to at least two people that feel like they're in a quote-unquote soul relationship and the things that they have described to me and the way that they 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 feel like things came about um i really really do resonate with that and i'm like this is crazy this is crazy and I don't know if it's, I know it's a soul relationship, I don't know if it's the soul mate relationship, but I know it's a soul relationship, and soul relationships and conscious relationships are very different from um, the relationships that we had in the past that were really, really, like, based on our low-level desires of, like, comfort, um, lust, um, attention, um, um validation and and so forth so how to go about i guess getting into a conscious relationship i mean if you if you are in a conscious relationship right now then just let this episode be confirmation that yes (laughs) you are in you probably are in a conscious relationship right now especially if you're just um super self-aware and um the levels of awareness in a partnership obviously you want them to be as equal as possible but it's also totally okay if one of the partners is um evolving a little bit quicker or just um has more mindset things and then the other partner has more um, experience things or whatever it's totally totally fine but as long as both of you are committed to working on the relationship working on yourselves and working on yourselves in the relationship that to me is what a conscious relationship is (laughs) yeah like even if you take away all of the spiritual woo woo that is what a conscious relationship is both of you are conscious and committed to the growth and the evolution of the relationship and of yourself in the relationship with along with happiness joy and alignment obviously so now that i've talked about a little bit about that um and i introduced that topic a little bit more in the podcast i wanted to talk about what um i would say is my first and like my biggest biggest principles when it comes to relationships when it comes to attracting conscious relationships when it comes to being an individual in a relationship um and just like being yourself in a relationship and not feeling like you have to change and all of that um my biggest principles when it comes to that is let people truly a hundred percent be themselves when they are with you let people be themselves in general let people be themselves in the relationship it is not your job and it is not your responsibility to change someone to um coerce someone to manipulate someone into changing to hint 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 at what you want um to like all of those things it is not your job it is not your responsibility let people show you who they are and then you decide if this is what you want you decide if this aligns with you and you decide if this um person um aligns with you if they feed your soul the way that it needs to be fed if they um support you if you just like you make your criteria your criteria you decide what it is that it's important for you and then you let this person be you let this person be and you observe who they are for who they are overall let people be themselves let people be themselves in the relationship stop criticizing stop judging stop um 
putting your expectations on them and just let them be when we put expectations on someone we actually don't realize how disempowering that is because we've now put something on someone and a lot of times we don't communicate it we don't tell them what is the expectation that we have from them and we just put that on them and then when they don't meet it it's like we get disappointed but it's just so <laughs> disempowering because we've we've took like we just took all of our power and put it on someone else i find it a hundred percent more powerful to observe someone you know during the dating I, I feel like i never stop observing someone to be honest i was gonna just say during the dating phase i think that's maybe a healthy thing to do but just me being me and being a scorpio moon and just being so intense i don't think i ever stop observing my partners um observe someone let them show you who they are let them even show you what they're willing to do for you let them even show you how committed they want to be how, like let them show you notice i'm not saying let them tell you eh? let them show you and then you decide how much like how much more powerful is that you decide if you're getting into love situations where you're not deciding anything where you're just caught up in a bunch of emotions and your mind is all over the place and your stomach is all caught up in knots and butterflies and you don't know what's going on um you're probably not in a conscious relationship um like that can that can be a lot of things in the beginning obviously but if your relationship has, is having like so much highs and lows and highs and lows and highs and lows and there's just no communication about anything and not just communication but comprehension right so if the same arguments are coming up and no one's and you guys are never getting closer to the solution um for me that is a that that is an indication that there's work to do in in that relationship just because yes it's you're probably gonna fight about similar things but i feel like if i have an argument or a disagreement over something every single time that i have that argument or i have that disagreement especially if it's the same thing um we're i i'm gonna bet you that we're getting closer to whatever the fucking solution is to that we or may not find the solution that day but i guarantee you that we're one step closer to finding it because we will go we will work on our comprehension to really understand like the intention of the other and um what's like what the hell is it is like what do you mean i'm trying to see it from your perspective and you're trying to see it from mine so that we can really understand each other and work on what is the solution to the problem and not to just like win a fight so letting people be themselves is going to be super duper important and just so fundamental in you um attracting the partner that you really truly desire and that you really truly deserve and as well as observing them and seeing if they even align with what you want and what you have stated so i guess the first first thing is make your fucking criteria what is your criteria what do you want in a guy what is really important for you i think that if you know me by now i have probably given you the 10th the 10 uh the top 10 list and because this is something that i have used i've given to other people as well and they have told me that it has worked or yes actually someone has told me that it has worked and other people have told me that this list has helped them gain more clarity so top 10 lists on what is it do i need my partner to truly truly have like really strip away all of the um, superficial stuff like dress dress code and and, and fashion sense and stuff like that like if it's important i guess for work like honestly to me i wouldn't even write that down on, on a list um if i was asking the universe for my perfect person because like i said in my past episode my higher self knows what i truly truly want so i'm gonna write down the things that are fundamental and super duper important to me like a supportive partner um a partner that is open-minded that is loyal that has a great sense of loyalty or a moral code that they follow um really like the i observe the way that they treat others you know like those type of things 
is is very very important to me so write down your top 10 things that you just absolutely cannot live without that are your your non-negotiables that you would absolutely love to have from your next in your next partner basically so do that and then look at that list and i want you to take off three things so the three things you're gonna take off basically are gonna be like okay this is my list of 10 but if i do not have these three things these two to three things i could live i could live with this partner i can work with this partner i would be extremely happy like these three things i am open and flexible for the universe to interject its own little magic of what it knows about me and my life my my desires everything into there choose those three things you don't have to completely um take it off but i would put an asterisk next to it just to say i am open to this being interpreted by the universe um the reason i say that is like you don't want to be you want to be specific but not too specific to the point where you're ruining the blessing right where you're like blonde here and it's like you get that person with everything but they didn't have blonde hair like what do you mean they could probably dye their hair at a later date or something like that so just really just make sure that like you're specific but the you're not too specific to the point where you're trapped into a box you're letting it be open to up to interpretation now put that list away and then let your partner your dating person your whoever be themselves enough so that you can see the true character of the person that you are going to be in a relationship with okay and this is what letting people be themselves actually do for you and why it is actually powerful and puts you in a position where you are um contributing i would say like to your own happiness like you're co-creating right you gotta you gotta be aware you can't just be letting people choose you and just just giving your heart to anyone and just going with the flow all the all the effing time <laughs> like sometimes you actually have to consciously you have to consciously create so this is how we consciously create um the relationships that we that we want and the ones that are in our heart so definitely letting them be themselves puts you in that position of power because now you can see what they're actually willing to contribute you can see their true character and you can decide whether or not you want to be in a relationship with this person second important thing second important thing be your own fucking self in the relationship be yourself in the relationship so while you're observing this person and if you have been seeing some good qualities and some good character characteristics not not actually not even characteristics character qualities um about this person be yourself as much as you can as much as you possibly can um you know by while putting your best foot forward like we're not gonna lie it's 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 what it is we're gonna put our best foot forward we're gonna we're gonna look great we're gonna be our best selves like it's just natural guys and we don't have to feel guilty for that it's normal especially when something is new especially when you're just meeting someone it's like if you get um to be you brand new all by all over again and it's 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 so natural and it's so nice to get to to be like that with with people so don't feel guilty over that and definitely definitely put your best foot forward in the most authentic authentic way possible be yourself be yourself be yourself conscious relationships this is one of the top keys is that you will not attract a conscious relationship unless you are willing to do the work on yourself and do the work in your relationship if you're not ready to do the work on yourself if you haven't done the work on yourself you will not be able to recognize that relationship if it falls into your lap you may um, repeat the same patterns repeat the same toxic behavior and actually um, you know push that person or push that partner away so you really want to do the work on yourself on your own emotions on your mindset what are your beliefs around your relationship what are your 
patterns what are your patterns you know you know every time you're in the relationship certain things come up for you certain things come up for you it's like sometimes it's like the same thing all the time so yeah we gotta look at those things we gotta look at those things we cannot we can no longer ignore these things anymore it is really our responsibility like i said to create the lives that we want and part of that is creating relationships that we that we've always dreamed of and like i said i because like again i'm attracted like i'm attracting like people to me i'm attracting these people with these super awesome cool relationships that are really like the type of relationships that we dreamed about when we were younger because they're just so cohesive and it's just so so aligned and they're just working on things together and they're accomplishing things together and you know um there's just no shame in the game being a girl and saying that you want these things and saying that like you obviously want a partner who adores you and um that showers you with things and that is there for you and that provides that emotional security that you need and you know just like your person and the, the person that has your back all the time and that listens to you and that is there for you and is not overwhelmed by your emotions or doesn't let um, ask you to change your emotions or to suppress your emotions or to um, calm down your emotions or anything like that who's just there for you and holds you and holds space for you to be yourself and be your goofy self and be your sexy self and be your crappy self and be your messy self and then be your smiley self and they be your baddie self and just be all of these selves um and just love you through all of your versions and all of your craziness because at the end of the day <laughs> you're lovable the way that you are you're lovable exactly the way that you are and you don't actually need to change for anyone else you just need to change or improve the things that you think will improve your life or the things that you have seen that the universe is continuously, continuously um, send you messages about and send you lessons about through your relationships. Relationships are like therapy. They kind of teach you, they, not they kind of, they teach you almost everything that you need to know about yourself. They teach you so much about yourself that if you're actually paying attention, you can really level up just by looking at the lessons that your your past relationships your past friendships and just your past um like interactions with people in general have given you so just to wrap this up this is just a a teaser a taste just the opening and a beginning to talk about conscious relationships on the podcast and to delve a little bit more into that subject and into relationships in general and, and also talking about how to navigate you know being in these type of relationships now and um since we are more aware of our trauma of our baggage of all of the things that come along with with us and loving us you know how do we navigate you know unlearning that and then um, still being in a relationship and still being there for our partner and still making sure that we show up as our best selves and still making sure that um, we're not projecting onto them and making sure that they're not projecting onto us and and all of that so I really want to do I really want to get deeper into that and to discuss all of those things here so uh, something that you guys can do for me is definitely, definitely, you can click in the show notes or go on my Instagram at sharice.fierce at this moment, but if it changes, it'll be forever in the show notes. And you guys can ask me some of your questions about conscious relationships, about toxic relationships, about getting out of toxic relationships, about um, rewiring our brain from our toxic beliefs, figuring out our toxic beliefs that really makes us attract and magnet be magnetizing to this toxic um, relationship environments. And I do believe that at the end of the day, if you 
um, are aware in your situation. And like I said, if you're with a partner that's aware of your situation, then you guys can change the situation successfully together. But it has to be done together. It can never be a one person thing. And um, that's the thing that I like the best about conscious relationships is that it is more of a partnership. It's more of two people doing um two people figuring it out versus one person expecting the other person to have it all together and then um criticizing them when they don't or blah 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 or these like insecure um attachments that we that we make with other people based on our trauma so yeah if you guys want to hear a little bit more about that like i said head over to my instagram at sharice.fierce and send me a dm telling me that hey i liked your relationship episode <laughs> even though it was a little bit all over the place like i said i just want to introduce the subject and then um ask me your questions over there so i can get a more of a feel of what you guys really want to know when it comes to um these new age relationships or relationships going forward or just breaking out of old bad part patterns when it comes to relationship and moving into something new So that is it for today. I hope you guys like today's episode. Um, this was actually a request um, from my Instagram to talk about conscious relationships. This episode was actually recorded um, last year. But since I had already recorded an episode about the subject, I actually re-listened to it to just like get the gist of it and possibly re-record it. And I was like, no, this has so much value in it. I'm not going to record it just for it to be like more perfect or anything like that. Um, I definitely, however, can see the growth of like my podcast and like my confidence when speaking on my podcast. But um, other than that, so, so valuable, like such good insights. And that is why I chose to still keep it. And I know, like I said, I'm going to be continuing to talk about it. So definitely stay tuned for new episodes on relationships coming soon and you know especially since we're, we're we're diving into libra season and you know libra is a sign of relationships so i'm definitely going to be dedicating um the lesser part of of september october to relationships um for sure like libra scorpio we're going to dive deep into relationships into intimacy and all of that so um thank you guys so much for listening as always if you want to connect with me if you have an idea or a request for the podcast um if you want to collab with me or come on the podcast and discuss certain things uh definitely hit me up i have a form in the link in my bio um and you guys can fill it out and we'll go from there so as always thank you so much for listening and i can't wait to talk to you soon